Hello and welcome to another adventure of Oxel and Stasi and their mage friend Sildana. Alright, so uh, right now we're in Lake of Ill Omen and uh, this is just because uh, this is where they're bound. Uh, this is the only, <laughs> I didn't rebind them at all uh, from when uh, we left Field of Bones. So uh, they're all here. This is the easiest place for me to get them together. Uh, and today we're going to go to the Emerald Jungle. So we are level 39. Uh, we got that last episode. And we're going to go forward. So let's uh, go ahead and pull to Emerald Jungle. There we go. Druid is doing some work. Alright, come on. Alright, there we got ported. Alright, we're in Emerald Jungle now, so if, see if you look at the map, right? We're right here. The, uh, this is where the Druid portal takes you, this is where the Wizard portal takes you. Uh, we're gonna go over here near City of Mist. I wanna try that area out, so, uh, what we're gonna do is... Uh, can I invis everybody with Druid? I don't know if she has the group invis yet. Uh, she has superior camouflage, that's fine. I want it in Viz. It does. I don't think it's gonna actually matter at all. But uh, oh my gosh, she does not have any divinity. Divination. All right, we're just gonna run this. I'm not gonna waste all my mana trying to invis. All right, got everybody. Let's go. So we'll take we'll take it along the wall, and if we see anything cool to kill along the way, we will kill it. Uh, with Invis, I was going to run across the zone, maybe make it a little faster, we'll see. And uh, if I ever do the run again, what is actually faster? But I'm going to have to work on her, uh, all their skills actually, they've been leveling so fast that everything gets, uh, gets uh, behind. Ooh, so there's a yellow, this might be the perfect zone, that's a level 40 plant. Actually, this is a this is a decent place to pull it. Um, all right, let's try it right here. Uh, so I don't know if plants are immune to poison. If they are, we're not gonna kill plants. Nope, they are not. Perfect. Let's go ahead and send these guys on there. Get you going. I'm gonna put a second dot on this guy. There we go and make sure I got everybody. All right. Wow, that looks perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and turn into a skeleton. And let's make sure Voxel has regen or he will eventually eat himself alive. All right, we said we got uh, some new item. This is a ender item. Yeah, perfect. All right, so we killed something. <laughs> okay, got a decent experience from it. I think it was still experience weekend. Uh, this is the next day from the last video. I'm trying to make these, uh, many of these videos as I can right now. While I have the time off so I don't get behind like always. Uh, but looking to the, the future of, uh, this, I'm, I'm strongly, strongly looking towards, uh, grouping with, uh, my warrior and, uh, doing some dungeons with these guys. Effectively the healing and the, uh, I would bring my warrior, my enchanter, and my cleric, and I would leave everything else to these guys, right? So the CC and the tanking would all be them, but uh, I would leave the uh, DPS to these guys, so I'd have to go somewhere they could actually hit the mobs. So I think that would be a kind of a you know a neat way to do it. I'd have to play it from the, the warrior perspective though. So I would miss out on the dings, but uh, trying to figure out a solution to that. I could play it from the uh, this guy still. Ah, I lost the druid. I could probably do it, honestly. And uh, just move him into position and pull with this guy. So I, they, they're not getting completely uh, power leveled 
they would ha you know still have to do a little bit of work but uh, we'll see all right almost to where I want to be oh there's another one let's go ahead and kill this one since it's right here go ahead and send the pets because they're way behind I don't even know where they're at right now honestly can't tell if that just didn't land or uh which patch is best which all right so that is the why am i oh i yeah i clicked on the wrong thing let's get another one of those there we go. yeah i'm terrible at healing these pets and i made that one swords too get burnt out on him they they die pretty quick I, I have a new heal it's called forest renewal or something like that or nature's renewal and uh, it's a little bit slower cast time too so I'm gonna blame I, I blame that all right let's keep going around the corner I want to stay on the zone wall just because I know running through the zone I can collect a lot of mobs and without invis that it's just like the only thing to do here I'm Right, you gotta keep that's one of the reasons I don't like uh pet tanks is you have to make sure that they're always on your extended target so you can see them all right almost to there so it's you know a lot of mobs can spawn out there sometimes it's pretty barren right you can see the little leech over there uh this is a popular zone on live for uh the daily quest because it is uh one of the zones in rotation for the hot zone stuff so it it has really good spots you can go to for uh getting stuff done all right here we go let's get oh leg bone skeleton all that i'm gonna grab the i like the yellows right that's what i want to kill they're uh with a pretty decent experience Flame on him. I gotta get damage shield on the pet. I don't know who's tanking right now. Looks like he is. All right. Wow, she fizzled to heal. What? I had marked uh, it on my extended target, but on her extended target, so that caused that. That would have been another death. Yeah, so it's, you know, there's a lot of things you got to do and make sure they're set up to do some of this stuff correctly. So, all right, let's keep going up the wall. That was a white, a blue skeleton, but I'm not worried about that one right now. It feels like these are like 3% each, honestly, uh, give or take. So that's pretty good with the experience bonus and, bonus and the potion. I need to use a potion on the druid as soon as we get up there. I want to do, you know, pretty much outside the city of Mysteria. It is my ideal spot. Hopefully there's enough mobs. Because here's my thought process, right? There's going to be people run, running the city of Mist. They're going to train mobs. The mobs are going to be available. You know? So it's like free pulling if mobs show up and plus whatever's in the general area all right let's get over here should be fine uh the zone is right there i'm gonna put us right here fairly bold spot i would say but should work put my pet on guard and 
Looks good. All right. Got 20 minutes on Spirit of Wolf. Let's look and see if we can find anything to kill right here. Just my luck. There's going to be no mobs in this area. <laughs> oh, man. This is terrible. sad there is not a single mob in this general area right here okay we might have to revisit this plan this is uh this is bad all right um let me see here all right, so we're on the move again. Uh, I didn't see any mobs. I remember being more mobs there, but uh, nothing. Oh, and he resisted. He is yellow. Let's see if I can get disease on him. There we go, disease. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move up towards this lake. I know there's mobs up that way. We're getting like 3% per, so it's not going to take very long to get to 40. It's just a matter of finding the mobs. So the experience isn't terrible in this zone. It's just uh, hard to find. So, and the druid got a new nuke. She does now uh, 400 and something uh, per, per nuke. So that's kind of nice. Uh, 406 and fire based. And that's pretty good uh, since I'm not going to be doing dots with her and the mage decided to just finish that macro finally and sit down so let's go find her sometimes they don't sometimes they do but uh, I'm going to go find more mobs and I'll uh, check back then alright so uh, I got uh <laughs> I found a little bit, I went a little bit further down. Uh, where am I at right now? So I'm right at the edge of the road here. And I found some mobs. I killed a few skeletons, uh, but nothing too fancy. I was just trying to make sure this spot had more than one mob. And it kind of does. Uh, overall, this is probably not a good place to be. Let's see where we're at with this one. 25, so it's like 2% for a blue, 3% for a yellow. Not terrible. Uh, the pull times are just long, and as soon as we get to uh, 40, we're gonna go inside a city mist. Give that a shot. I, I may even go get my uh, my shaman because he needs the books here for his epic, and that would like double be some double duty. But I don't know if it's camped inside there or not. Or how bad it is camped. <laughs> if it is, I might be able to get a group with these three. If anything, so. I mean, look how long this pull is right now. This is pretty significant. And I can't even guarantee I'll get this mob back to the group before that poison belt wears off. I could almost just, like, cast another dot on him, right? Yep. That's hilarious. Hey guys, here's your mob at 30%. <laughs> there you go. I think I'll have perma aggro on this dude, all the dots, but nope, it's dead. So it's not the best spot in the world. Uh, I'm sure there's significantly better. There's a raptor right there. Let's see if it's poison resistant. And the cool thing about the raptors is they move slightly faster. There's a gorilla too. So everything's starting to spawn while I'm here. Uh, which is good, right? Because I think they spawn generally in this area. Go. That one's dead. Here, I'm going to snare it. I should pull out. probably snare when I get them into camp. 
since some of these are running. A tottering gorilla. He's a blue. Poison lands on him. So it seems like poison only doesn't land on the skeletons for me so far. Let's see how fast they kill this thing. Can I sit? I can sit. She has a terrible healing macro. <laughs> it casts it once and then uh, gives up. I'll cast it twice and gives up. Wow. Let's fix that real quick. I really wish I could uh, do kind of what I was doing with this box or I could just switch and show the other screens. That would uh, make things significantly more entertaining for me on these videos. There is a raging tiger. Let's see if I can get him before he walks out of the range. Got him. All right, so the pulls are kind of picking up now, and uh, it's kind of a decent area now. All right, so what I'm gonna do? I'll uh, kind of already at the, I'd like almost the end of where I'd like to be. I'm gonna continue grinding here uh we'll right till we get to about 40 and then we'll pop back in and uh finish up this episode all right so we are 90 percent the way and <laughs> it's taken me probably 30 minutes to get from wherever we were last time to here so definitely not the uh not as good as over there i would say i would say even at this level uh, over there has you know quicker pulls and that is that is what it is. that's the problem with this area right here is the time between kills is too long the kills give good experience but uh getting a, another mob quick enough is uh the real pain right, where's my root really get her just far enough away. I'm going to try to grab this gorilla while that one's pulling. Or when that one's being killed. Alright, good. I had to switch uh, to the earth elemental because the air elemental literally died faster than I could cast like regen. <laughs> it was like I was uh, I needed regen before I went to, I went to get another one. And I was I had the casting up and it was just dead. And I was like, what? This isn't fun. So I'm trying him out. He's it seems to be working out pretty well. I got him buffed with a druid, but I have to kind of dedicate the druid now to just being a healer for the pet. And that seems to work. The uh the pet heals that the uh mage get i'm sorry or something i'm gonna investigate but i don't think that, it's like a level 29 spell and i think it healed like 80 and these mobs are hitting for more than 80 so i mean it's not even it, i would rather i would it's better for me to spend the money or not the money but the mana uh nuking for like 600 or whatever it is now and just <laughs> hoping i kill it before it kills the pet and i don't know we'll see i know I know higher level you get more pet heals and I think that I think in Luckland and oh shoot this is not gonna be fun and I don't have feign death up all right boys this is gonna be a tricky pull here I have half mana where are you at all right I'm gonna put one pet on one one on the other that works for me all right I'm gonna dot this uh, gorilla up because that pet is gonna get destroyed A lot faster than this one. All right, let's just nuke this. Uh, get down. All right. And go, 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 pet heal. Go, go. Oh my god. One second off. All right. Absolute chaos right here. Let's see if I can get this. There, one's down. 
Got a heal coming in for me. We'll just do this. Yeah, so I don't know. The pet was at 20% when I clicked the heal. And it still died. <laughs> so it's, it is, uh, you know, one of those things, right? That is just... I, I feel like they don't tank, tank very well at all. Even the Earth Elemental. It's not like these are hard mobs, right? All right. At least my uh, my conjuration and my alteration are all getting better on the uh, on the the mage. All right. I need to actually get mana. So we're we're at ninety nine percent to forty, and uh, I just need to get mana for this. All right. There's a mob right here. We're gonna go ahead and pull this one. I have enough mana for one dot, which uh, shouldn't be enough. I think I'm uh, specialized in conjuration right now. I am not 100% sure if I'll change that or not, considering how much some of these dots cost. It's like they balance the dot cost to having full defined armor. All right, there we go, level 40. And we get a nice little achievement, and bam, done. I don't think we got any spells that are worth uh, really talking about. Well, it looks like we did get uh, a new disease dot, right? So that replaces Scourge. Actually, does it replace Scourge? Because we have two dots. Aradon. Disease Scourge. Stacking group, Breath of Uthar. Stacking group. So these stack. All right, perfect. Um, let's get rid of Boil Blood. Uh, that one only does 67. Oh, this one only does 62. But it, it does some other stuff. We'll see. It's longer lasting ones. Might be a better one for pulling. All right. So we're 40 now. Um, my plan is I'm going to pop in City of Mist. I'm going to try it out. I'm not going to make a video yet because if we get destroyed instantly, I'm not going to bother with it. I'm going to then probably get our Seb keys. Uh, so 40 is a good level to go to Seb. Uh, we're going to do that and I'll probably do that with my warrior just so it's uh, painless and uh, we can do it really quick. And I'll get him. I'll probably record that video from the perspective of the warrior, or because I'll be pulling and all that, and it's just easier. And we'll go from there. But uh, that's kind of the plan. I want to go forward. Uh, wind up, you know, just kind of seeing how that goes. Uh, but using these guys as DPS and the warrior and his uh, cleric enchanter for uh, the. Uh, support i guess so there we go level 40 emerald jungle emerald jungle is not a good place uh very long between pulls just overall not a fun zone unless you have like the daily quest or something from uh, later on in the game on live but uh thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day